So what is up guys, this is Nick Care from Everything Tech and welcome to yet again another episode of the iPhone SE versus the Microsoft Lumia 640. Now, I know what you guys are saying right away. This is totally an unfair comparison. And who cares? If you guys want to see the iPhone SE versus all of the latest and greatest gadgets, go watch the other thousand and one channels on YouTube that do the same videos. Over here, we're not afraid to think a little bit different and mix things up. Because you know what? You might have dropped or broke your old phone and said, I'm going to pick up that Microsoft Lumia 640 until I get paid again. And then I'm going to cop that, you know, SE. And you might be just wanting to know how it stacks up against this $40 phone that you bought because you know you broke one or you might be wondering you might be saying yo i don't got enough for even apple's so-called budget phone so i just want to spend no money and i want to see if this microsoft lumia 640 is going to stack up well against something on the market you know at least you know that's pretty high end so let's get into this video right now and we're going to do as we always do and boot these babies up at the same time. Now one thing I can tell you right out the gate, in terms of software, there is no comparison. If you guys like applications, you cannot use a Microsoft phone. I'm just sorry, you're not going to be happy with it if you're into all the latest and greatest applications. But let's get this baby booted up at the same time. This is running the official Windows 10 right here. And this is running the official iOS 9.3.1. No jailbreak over here. So we are running on their stock operating systems, which will make for a pretty fair comparison. Now I can't really see this Microsoft Lumia through the camera. So what I'm gonna do is once it gets to the home screen, I'm gonna boot this baby up. But you can see iPhone SE destroyed the, S, the 640 on the boot up test. And you know what? Honestly, we're going to expect that the SE is going to beat this Microsoft in a lot of areas, and that's to be expected. But like I say, we still want to just see what happens. So I'm going to pull this way and brighten it up so you guys can see it. It is really dim right now. So just give me one second. You know, grab a cup of tea or do whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, let's go ahead and put this baby on high. And uh, you can see right there. We are on the latest version of Microsoft's operating system. So let's make sure everything is closed out before we start the application test. And uh, let me make sure everything is closed out here on the 640, which it is. And like I say in all my videos, I'm going to do the system apps um, because this, well, actually because this phone is not mine. So I'm definitely going to do the system apps. When I got phones that I own or that I'm, you know, loaned for review, then I'll install my own apps. But for this case scenario, we're just going to do the system apps. But overall, I can tell you the actual operating system itself on the Lumia 640 is just as buttery smooth as the iPhone in terms of just, you know, the general user interface. It's just as smooth as the iPhone. So if you get like a Lumia 640 in terms of, you know, just buttery smooth as scrolling your thumb from the notification bar, scrolling through the apps, no problem. But where the iPhone really shines is when it comes to the actual optimization of the app. So let's go into calculator. This is a system app. And you can see how much quicker the iPhone SE was there. Going home, the 640 does go home pretty quickly. So let's go to phone. And you can see the iPhone destroyed it there. Let's go into camera. And for a $30 phone or whatever price it is where you're at, the 640 has an excellent camera with manual controls. So I really like what Microsoft has done here in terms of the camera department. The Lumias have always been known for excellent cameras, even on their budget devices. So let's go into something else. Maybe let's go into the browser real quick. Like I say, I don't want this to get too long here, but we're gonna go do a couple of app tests. I think I went into the camera. Let's go into Microsoft Edge here. I missed it, you know, not paying attention sometimes, so I missed it. It's all good, we all make mistakes. So let's go ahead and, you know, Type in www. We're gonna go to let's see apple.com. Let's just do Apple for this this you know comparison right here. Apple.com here on the 640, and let's go to www.apple.com here on the SE, and let's hit go at the same time, and see which one gets there first. And you could see the iPhone SE once again, but it's not like it's so long and you know it's so much better that you can't you know read a website on the 640. I mean, you're still getting smartphone functions here on your very affordable device. Now, in terms of, you know, raw horsepower, the SE destroys the 640. But um, should you upgrade is the real question. If you're actually looking for this rather odd upgrade, I don't think many people will be cross shopping this devices. But this was a fun comparison 
either way. You will appreciate the speed of the iPhone SE, but in terms of the screen quality, yes, it's a little more balanced. The viewing angles are a bit better here on the SE, but this screen is a 720p at five inches and it does shift a little bit on the angles. But overall, I think you're not gonna notice too much difference unless you're like a really screen geek in terms of screen quality. This, this 640 just gives you a lot for the money, whereas the SE also gives you a lot for the money and it does give you you know, that Apple name, which is why you spend so much. But anyway, that's pretty much gonna wrap this up. I think if you guys um, want to pick up a SE and you just pick this up as a spare device, you're going to be happy with your upgrade as long as you can get used to the iOS device. But for all of you who are out there still looking to buy a 640, I think you're gonna have a great time with this device as long as you can live without all the latest and greatest apps. But that pretty much wraps this guys up. Um, if you guys want to know anything about the 640 or the SE, go ahead and drop that down in the comments down below. We will try our best. I do try to answer all the comments and uh, share this video, um, like it, you know, show your support so we can continue to do what we do here. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.